Good morning, it's Anna Vaughn and Luna Tuna, are you here? Good morning. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's super windy, but we're on our way to La Barra. We're meeting up with Ocean and Raul, who are my two friends that did the mural back by the pool. You might remember them from that video. And we're gonna take a hike, which is us just walking to breakfast. Try to find places that are away from the tourist trap. Sian, she painted the mural on the back of the house by the pool. There she is. See the music behind me? Here's something you may not know. This is probably going to give anxiety to anybody living in like a colonialist country. But Mexicans on Sundays like to play their fucking music, okay? This guy's got concert level sound. Not weird at all to be in a little town and there's like concert level going on. I don't hear it as much here because I live in Bacocho, which is a suburb. But when we lived in Chiapas, it was this times a hundred in our neighborhood every Sunday. For those of you who are from countries like Canada, I know you love to have quiet and space, so if you're expecting that in Mexico, manage your expectation. You scared me that time. You scared of chickens? No. What kind of chica de la costa are you? Here we are, this is my friend Ocean. I mentioned her in the taxi and and Luna, everyone knows Luna. I mentioned her in the taxi that, uh, if you remember, the uh, mural at the back of the pool that, you know, is our Instagram-worthy shot for everyone that comes to stay. <laughs> Ocean made it with her partner That's Raul. Me. Yeah. Um, and now we're basically just walking on the road in La Barra. We made a video, my friend Renee and I. We so every Sunday we go to look for something to do that basically is doing nothing. That's always our thing. Okay. We're like, let's do nothing as much as possible. So we went to La Barra Navidad and we were going to walk along to La Ventanilla. Uh -huh. But the path is all washed out and okay. apparently there's a ton of crocodiles. Yes, there is. So yeah. we turned back and we're so glad we did because we probably would have had to have a big hospital bill. Um, and we went to Las Mangaleras at the Ventanilla for lunch. That was like okay. the whole trip. So now we're in the other La Barra. Before, with Rene, we were in La Barra Navidad, which is on the other side of the river. And now, Ocean has just moved here. So we're just kind of checking out this scene. That's about it. We're walking to breakfast, mainly. Yeah. I'm gonna walk barefoot, because we're doing earthing. You wanna do some earthing with me? Yeah. Okay, pass me your shoes, kid. Here we go, earthing like big hippies. Ooh, hecho a mano. Homemade tortillas, kiddo. We need salt and alcohol. How's your homemade tortilla? Ready? Oh, <laughs> te gustan las tortillas? Do you like these ones? These are handmade ones. I like them. You like them? Barra is like the sleepiest little community you've ever seen here. It's just a little like, it's, it's the same as us. Like we are living in kind of a suburb um, on the other side of town uh, from the main part of Puerto and uh, called Bacocho. But our suburb is more like what you would think of as a suburb. It's like a Oaxaqueño suburb for like middle upper class people who have their little house out there and whatever. This suburb is more like the country on the other side of town. It's by the river and I'll show you the river's really low right now. Like the lowest it's been. But it's usually quite low right before rainy season which is what we're going into soon. Something that's very common here in Oaxaca is that everything's like made by hand. Like you, you sit down at this little Commodore and they have like the hot sauce is really good. It's all made by hand. The tortillas are made by hand. In some places, they even have the eggs. It depends on how many people they have from chickens lo locally. Like, it, to me, this is the height 
of food, of eating, of health, of, of, of rich riches is to be eating natural, clean, local, handmade food with love. You know, this is what I want. This is why I'm here. And uh, I love this. I really do. And it's so, such a nice excuse to just get out of town, especially now where there's so many tourists. on this thing that's it 10 pesos and we're in the center of the city uh, we don't take as many taxis anymore because taxi drivers are all assholes now because as soon as we became as, as soon as we became as Ocean says the Tuluminati <laughs> uh, now I'm sure tourists treat taxi drivers like shit and so now they treat everybody like shit and the prices are always changing and because I look the way I look they try to get me every time and a part of why I live here so I wouldn't have to deal with that crap I've had I've had that all over the world um, and I you know I don't fault anyone for it but we take collectivos more now okay here we are illustrious other market I know this doesn't seem like much but Sam here my friend Sam as you know She's been telling me about this market for a while. I've never been. There's two markets in town. There's the Benito Juarez market, which I go to. And then this is called the other market. But it's got a million dollar view, and apparently now they have a kids area. So we came sniffing around after school. I've heard of this store. Look at this. It's all organic. Cool. Superfoods, bulk. Okay, 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 okay. It's so artisanal. They're called zapote. And they taste like pumpkin and fig. You should get one. Look at these white roses. Don't touch. Así, esos son bananos. Estes. Son Monsanto. What's here? Even there's a park. There's a park. That's the market. And it has a view. I mean, the camera doesn't do it justice. And now they've put this park in. Which is super cool. Here it is, people. Look at the view on this sucker. In Puerto, this is like incredibly state of the art, and it's like, you know they did this because kids have been stripped of all their ability to play and hang out. I mean, we don't have a pandemic here. People are not dropping like flies. We don't even, I haven't seen anybody sniffle in a year. So, there's nothing going on here. But kids, are, there's still all the rules, right? And I just love this shit. I love when I see like, now we got the coolest park and we didn't even have this before. It's all because of the pinche coronavirus. that time. Chocolate, chocolate. Oh, una caro. Show me your ice cream. Is it good? kind of the end of the video but I did want to say that the guys came today they did some work on the house they got me grounded which is great uh, you can see here I don't know if you can see but there's a wire up there it goes from this box there which only has a grounding goes all the way up there comes all the way out there across here and then he brought it all the way down here so that we could hide it comes all the way here, down, 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 and then down into the ground. And my grounding mat came at the same time, 
there it is looking kind of dirty but that's it the way that it gets plugged in actually let me turn it over I'll show you so this is like there's a little snap it looks like that and it just snaps on and then there's a quite a long cord on it and the other part goes into here if you have modern electricity you would just put it in your regular outlet but here we have a three prong outlet because I have three prong things that need to go in but there's nothing here only there's two it's really common in countries that are not modernized that they don't ground the electricity. So they just created a little grounded thing and I've got it on this side here, which is where I work, and I've got the other side goes into the bedroom so I can plug it in there when I sleep. And I've been standing on it while working today with it under my feet and I'm gonna move it to put it, I'm gonna wash it off and put it underneath my computer right now to work for a bit, but it'll take all that electric charge so it doesn't go into my body. And uh, I'm pretty excited to sleep on it tonight, and I will report back in the morning as the very final bit of this video. First night last night, I also had my feet on it, had it underneath my computer, use it as much as possible. I gotta say, I had the best night's sleep I've had in a long time. I slept an hour longer than I normally do. Um, I definitely, I have racing thoughts and uh, I'm prone to depression, which this morning was the first morning I woke up and did not have to sort of get the racing thoughts out of my mind. I regularly have anxiety in my sleep and I didn't have any of that. This is a really subtle change. It's not a big change, but it's an obvious difference. I totally get why they've been using this with autistic children. I understand why it's so important I will be using this every day this is like I mean I meditate every day to kind of help with the thoughts and stuff and it does work but this works way more and it's so easy it's just a mat it's just a grounded mat and that's it uh, anyway if you like this video like it share it subscribe and uh, let me know if you want more info on the grounding mat. I've got links and stuff below for to get it on Amazon if you want. And if you've tried it before or you've been grounding, leave your experience. I, this is like, to me, this is a game changer. Adios, baby.